It's me, Ian, and welcome to Help My Supply Teacher is Magic. We've fooled hundreds of you guys by swapping regular teachers with magicians. And we've been secretly filming the results with special cameras hidden in the classrooms. Cleverer than Professor Brian Cox on Mastermind. And just because we know how much you guys love magic, we're also showing you a load of other tricks. Like this, with this a wave of my wand. Just play the clips. Catherine's going undercover to cause mayhem in this class of year fives. Look, the teaching assistant's floating off her chair. We might have it on the wrong setting. Will she have the whole class flying? We're going to teach you a magic trick so you can fool your friends. Grab one apple, two cups and a piece of paper so you can join in. Plus, you've been sending in clips of all your best magic tricks and later on I'll be picking my five favourites. Will you be one of my wannabe wizards? Do you think you'd be able to tell if your teacher started doing magic? Do you? This is Catherine, magician extraordinaire. She's got mad skills and she's going to use them undercover as a supply teacher. The hidden cameras are set. Is it your school? Is it your class? Let's find out. Here's a year five class. They don't know it yet, but Catherine's about to give them a lesson in gravity that'll have them leaping out of their seats quicker than if they just smelt one and dealt one. None of the class suspect there are cameras hidden in every corner of their classroom or realise that Catherine's not a real teacher. Watch for the woman in green. That's Miss Noonan, the class teaching assistant. She doesn't know exactly what's going to happen yet, but she's going to be the star of this trick. Good job she's done her air. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, Miss Mills. Now, we're going to be learning all about gravity. Gravity can be described as a force that pulls any object or anything you can touch towards the centre of the Earth. So gravity is actually what stops things from floating. That bit is 100% true. Now, when I was a little girl, I absolutely loved science. So much so that I went on to go and study it at university before I started to train to be a teacher. And what I made was this, which is an anti-gravity device which means it can actually make things float. I had an anti-gravity device once, but it floated away. To start off with, we're going to try it on something quite small, like this pencil. Let's switch it on and turn the power up. Trick coming up right now. Watch closely and uh, grip tightly onto your sofa in case you float away. And the pencil should float. Isn't that incredible? They are literally gobsmacked. They can't believe it. The pencil is actually floating. Now, if I turn this up, power, we can actually move the pencil up higher. Isn't that incredible? None of the class suspects a thing. Loving your work, Catherine. Big style, great floating pencil. But can you make anything bigger float? So, let's have a little go with something a bit bigger. Has anyone got a bag in the classroom? Uh, nice try with a cushion, mate. Not a cushion. What I wanted was actually a bag. In fact, can I see a bag by your feet, Miss Noonan? There we go. Could we use your bag for this? That would be brilliant. If you could come up here. Here she comes. Miss Noonan, the teaching brilliant. assistant, is about to become a magician's assistant. On the chair, that would be perfect. She knows something strange is going to happen, but she doesn't know she's preparing for a liftoff. She looks nervous. I would too. Now, what we're going to attempt to do is make Mrs. Noonan's bag float. OK? This girl can't so, wait, can she? What we're going to do first of all is point the anti-gravity device at the bag. So for this, we're going to have to switch it on again. Now, when I turn the power up, it can make a little bit of noise. Something magic's happening. Watch your feet very closely. They're about to leave the floor. There we go. Oh, oh. I can't believe it. It's not just her bag floating, she's rising out of her chair. The setting 
I bet the class didn't realise this was going to be a flying lesson. OK, don't worry, well, I'm going to turn it down. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a teaching assistant. OK, everybody, settle down a little bit. Obviously, the power was too strong for Mrs Noonan. Thank you very much for helping us out. You can go and sit back down again. The whole class is floating with the anti-gravity trick. But will they raise the roof when Catherine tells them the truth? Do you want to hear something? You know this? It's not actually an anti-gravity device. That was a magic trick, because I'm not even a real teacher. I'm a magician. And if you look over there, there's a camera over there, and there's a camera over there, and there's a camera over there. Oh, the running man. That's pretty magical. She did it! Catherine totally tricked the class. When I saw the science teacher, I was like, oh, boring science. And then when I, when I saw the anti-gravity, I thought, cool. First, Catherine had the pencil floating. It acts as if it was in space. I thought it was cool. <laughs> Anybody could fall for it. Then, she even had the teaching assistant way up in the air. I thought our teacher was actually flying. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine pulled it off. The class had no idea she was a magician. Would you realise your supply teacher was magic? <laughs> Later on, Fergus will also be going undercover as a supply teacher. He'll make this class's jaws drop to the floor. Is this your class? Of course, Fergus is not a real teacher. He's an amazing magician with incredible skills. He's going to teach you the secret behind the trick you can use on your mates to melt their minds. If you fancy yourself as a magician, here's a trick you can try on your mates. You need one apple, two cups and a piece of paper. If you haven't got them already, go and get them now. Hurry up! In the meantime, here's Fergus doing some juggling. You back? Good. Come on, Fergus. Less juggling, more magic. Do you know how to balance an apple on a piece of paper between two cups? Can you work it out? Keep watching and you'll find out later in the show. Right now, though, the magnificent Catherine's about to flex her magical muscles in the park and do a trick you'll never be able to work out. Would you like to see some magic? Yeah! yeah. This is Ludo and Esme. They think they're about to take a walk with their mum in the park. They have no idea they're about to star in their own magic show. Watch carefully. Yeah? What I need is a, a ring. Does anyone have a ring I could use? You have one of these. Oh, could I? <laughs> You're okay if I take this, yeah? Is it special to you? Well, I've had it a very long time. You've had it a long time, yeah. okay. But what I want you to do is keep your eye on your ring the whole time. Okay. In fact, I'm so confident that this is going to work, I'm going to give you the keys to my car. She's so cheeky. She doesn't even have a car. So you can keep them if this all goes wrong. Okay, okay just follow your ring. Yeah. As it completely vanishes. And it Whoa, the ring's gone! Where is it? Oh, your ring. Let's see that again. As it completely vanishes. Still great. Nice work, Catherine. And if you open up your hands there... Oh! <laughs> amongst the keys... Is that the ring? <laughs> oh, there you go. Brilliant, thank you. Thanks, guys. That was cool. She just took a ring, put it in her hand, put it in her other hand, and then opened it and it wasn't there. It, like, appeared on, like, her keys. It was cool. And it was just, wow, how do you do that? Coming up, another trick that will leave members of the public saying that was awesome. But right now, we have something amazing for you. This is the interactive illusion. This is a trick where you can take part at home. So come on, get right up, right up next to the television. You need to be close enough to touch the screen, but um, could you wipe the chocolate off your hands? This is, this is a new top. Good. You ready? All right, here's John. He's a friendly magician with sweet tricks and a big appetite for magic. He's about to talk you through a trick, so go on, get involved. We're going to do a trick with time, so we need a clock. Now, what I need you to do is to think of any number, 1 through 12, that appears on the face of this clock. Do that now. 
Go on, do it now. This is your chance to do a trick. OK. Now, place your fingertip on the 12. You're going to make three moves to arrive at a random number. First, you should spell the number that you thought of, making one move for each letter clockwise around the circle. For example, if you thought of two, you'd spell T-W-O. Moving your finger to the one and the two, ending on the three. Do that now, spelling the number that you thought of. Good. Now, from where you are, spell the new number that your finger is on, continuing to move around the circle. Once again, start spelling from the number next to the one your finger is on. Do that now. Great. You've reached another number. Now, one last time, I want you to spell that new number that your finger is on, continuing around the face of the clock. Remember to start spelling from the next number to the one your finger is on now. Away you go. Good. So, you thought of a number and you made three moves from there. But I know exactly where you are. You're at one o'clock. <laughs> it's time for lunch. I was thinking lunch too. Every week we are bringing you a chart of the magic movers and shakers and we're calling it Wannabe Wizards. I can already say this is my favourite bit of the show. So I've got my comfy chair, I've got my nachos and I've got my laptop. Let's do this already. We ask you to send in clips of yourself performing your best magic tricks. We receive loads of clips from all over the country. Each week, I will be choosing my five favourite wannabe wizards and showing them to you guys. Number five this time is a coin trick I know you'll love too. Ian from Bournemouth is going to make this solid coin magically pass through the side of this cup. One, two, three. I wish I could do that. Go on, mate, get it back in the cup. That coin trick's great. This card one just trumps it, though. It features the skilled hands of Thomas from Christchurch. Nice clothes there, by the way. Stand back, he's going to throw the deck of cards. I love this bit where the ace of spades jumps out. And Thomas loves the ace of spades. Watch this bit, watch this bit. It's going to be the ace of spades again. And now, the ace of hearts. Guess what he's going to do with that? Check it out, two of hearts, but now it's the ace of clubs and yes, indeed, the ace of spades. He's cool, but wait till you see my man Michael from Rotherham. So I have got a metal bar. Forget Houdini. Who's Houdini? Here's Michael with these funky red curtains and great chat. What a dude. Here comes my volunteer. Look, look, he's got a proper assistant and everything. <laughs> It all looks secure, ready for Michael's amazing escape act. So I'm going to turn around while you chain the chains to my wrists. Do you know where Michael keeps his chains when he's not using them? In his locker. <laughs> Lock. No? OK. That's it, total lockdown. But wait till you see this bit. How long do you think it'll take me to escape? How long do you reckon? I know the answer. Two minutes. His hands out. Maybe a little bit less than that. Yeah. How did he do that? I'd say about one minute possibly. I don't know. He's a funny guy, but for me, tricks with chains are always taught by tricks with rings, which is why Atticus from Yeovil is next. And I use this Atticus, that name's got a nice ring to it. So I have one, two, three, four, five rings. And this trick has got five rings to it. And then I'm not that one then. Hopefully I can get it through. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Wow, okay, now, can you just take that and make sure they're linked? They are indeed yep. linked. Good start, but it gets better. Okay, now, two rings there. I give these a I love this bit. Watch him concentrate. He's got nerves of steel to connect the rings of steel. Ta-da! He made those two link, but it doesn't matter how much I rewind it, I can't work it out. Which is why he got number two of my wannabe wizards this time. 
Who's my favourite, though? I'm not going to tell you yet. Not before I put on my funny chart show voice. At number five, Ian's coin was great. Ace of Spades is the coolest card, so I chose Thomas at four. I couldn't escape how good Michael was, so I put him in at three. <laughs> there was a nice ring to Atticus, and he was nearly my favourite. But out of the tons of wannabe wizards, my top one this time was... This total dude, Gabriel from Bovington. It could be the skateboard, it could be his style, but he's got a really good trick. Here I have a deck of cards. May you please pick any card you like? Yep. Okay then. Keep a note of this. The three of diamonds. Right. Can I please take your card? And put it roughly there. If I was a beginner, I would find your card like this. But I'm not a beginner, so I'm not. Okay. So I'm gonna just spread my cards out on this, and there's one card turned over, which is a three of diamonds. Was that your card? Yeah, it was. Thank you. Can't wait until next time for more wannabe wizards. An important part of magic is glamorous assistance. So if any luck, eh? here are mine now, guys. We... <laughs> hmm? What's that? The glamorous assistants can't come. They came to the door, saw it was me, and they left. While I sort this out, you, you watch what's coming up. Have you worked out this secret to Fergus's challenge? If you haven't already got your paper, apple, and cups, go get them now. Go on, hurry. See John baffle this boy and leave him confused. But can you? Work out how he does it. Watch what happens when Fergus goes undercover in another school. Could it be your class? Could your supply teacher be magic? In undercover magic, we hide cameras in all sorts of places. Our magicians play tricks on members of the public who don't know they're being filmed. Going undercover this time is James. He's got a smooth head and even smoother hands that do tricks with bite. James is in this cafe to play a trick on Kevin and Cindy. They've been set up by their mum. They have no idea what's about to happen. Have you chosen what you're going to have to eat yet? I'll do a glass of water, and uh, they've given me an ice cube. It's a silly thing, you know, but... It's just, it's just nice when you get an ice cube in your drink. This chat about ice is all very nice, but let's see the trick. I could try and make one. Have you ever made an ice cube? Yeah, you've made an ice cube. What do you use to make an ice cube? Water in a fridge. It takes ages, doesn't it? Tell you what, we'll try this. Okay, look. He's like a real life ice man. Everything he touches turns to ice. Just put a bit of water in your hand. Yeah, you've got to be very careful you get it rolling. Like that. What? Wow! Yeah. That's awesome! He made an ice cube! How did he do that? Cheers. It's the moment you've been waiting for, a chance for you to learn how to fool your friends. Me and Fergus challenge you to balance an apple on a piece of paper between two cups. Come on, have you worked it out? How many of you got it? Maybe you think it works when the paper's laid flat. Nah. What about in a tube? Uh -uh. Come on! It's all about folding the paper. It's so simple, even I could do it. You make a paper fan and then put the fan between the two cups and the apple balances nicely on top. Did you get it? Are you amazing already? Now you've got something to show off with in the playground and John is about to show off one of his tricks in a theme park. He's found Adam, Thomas and Jack among the right. They're about to have their minds expanded by these rubber bands. I'm going to put one elastic band on my first finger and thumb like that. And then I'm going to put the other elastic band on this first finger and thumb behind it, so I'm now trapped. I can't get out that way, can't get out that way, can't get out that way. But if I rub the elastic bands together, what happens is they melt <laughs> right through each other. It's a little bit quick. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll do it a little bit slower so you can watch. Look, that's on my first finger and thumb. It's important I don't swap fingers. People think I do. It stays on the first finger and thumb. The other thing that's important is this elastic band really does go behind the other one. It's not an optical illusion. 
If it was an optical illusion, I wouldn't be able to do that. And there really is no way out. There's no gaps in my fingers, no gaps in my thumb, no surgery to the hands, no gaps <laughs> in the bands. But a little rub, they come right hey. through each other. Whoa, can we get a rewind? No <laughs> gaps in the bands, but a little rub, they come right hey. through each other. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, I wonder if you can do that trick if somebody else holds one of the elastic bands. And you, I read minds as well. Look, <laughs> hold your fingers out like this. Hold John's no tight. one man band. Jack's and about to join in. Here. Wonderful. Just hold it there. You're going to watch it from backstage, I'm going to watch it from front stage. Now, is that elastic band behind this one? Yeah. It is. And that one's in front of this one? Yeah. Wonderful. Can you feel that? Yeah. Can you feel that? Mm -hmm. You're feeling very well today. Can you feel that? Yeah. That's the tension. Listen, whatever you do, don't let me sneak it off this way. Don't let me sneak it off this way. And don't let the tension go. Watch. Oh, Whoa, that was awesome. Let's see that again. Don't let me sneak it off this way. Don't let me sneak it off this way. And don't let the tension go. Watch. That was amazing. I don't know how that happened. He told me to hold my fingers out, and I had the elastic band on my fingers, and then he did the trick, and there's no way I let it out. Oh, I'm baffled, honestly. I don't know what to say. You could say, that was awesome. I am a massive fan of elastic bands. I mean, you can do loads of them. You can... <clears throat> now it's time for our magician, Fergus. He's at another school. He is going undercover as a supply teacher to do an incredible trick. Is it your school? Is it your class? And will the class realise their supply teacher is magic? Let's find out. These year five pupils think they're coming in for an ordinary lesson, but they're wrong. There's nothing ordinary about Fergus. The classroom's rigged with hidden cameras, and he's about to do a totally exciting disappearing trick. Good morning, my name is Mr Flanagan. Now, today, I'm stepping in as your supply teacher. Today, we're going to be doing science. On the table, you'll notice I've got lots of items, one of which it's called a microfiber. It's a piece of paper, Fergus, you little liar. What this enables is for microtransportation. They all think he's a teacher, but he's an incredible magician. What I need to do to begin with is to scrunch my microfiber into a small ball. Can you see that? Yes. Now, I've got two containers here, and I'm going to place my microfiber into the container. Keep your eye on that container, because soon it will contain magic. Step number two involves using an egg. And I'm going to place that with the microfiber into the container. Now, I have to be careful. Oh, a trick of an egg. Very egg-citing. Look at their faces, they're all being fooled. How could you think that he's a teacher with that jumper and that hair? But they do, would you? A chemical reaction is going to take place. So I'll put these on. Now, this chemical reaction will activate when I start shaking. He's got the them container. all eating out of his hand. And all he's done so far is put a piece of paper and an egg in a plastic jar. Wait till they and you see the trip coming up. It's going to be amazing. So once I start shaking... Remember, there's an egg and a piece of paper in the jar. It's nearly there. It's happening now. It's starting to happen. That microfiber will begin to slowly absorb... And now there's just the paper. What? The egg has gone. I cannot believe my eyes. There was an egg in there. He shook it and now there isn't. He's made it disappear. Where did it go? It didn't actually get very hot that time. Look, you can feel not very hot at all. You can check as much as you like, lads. You won't find anything in there. Because it's magic. This has amazing possibilities. Now he's got the whole class hooked. Watch what happens when he puts a piece of paper in the other jar. So I'm going to do exactly the same. He made the egg disappear, and now he's going to make it appear again. Go, Fergus. The moment it enters the jar, just by shaking like I did before, you can actually stop. Whoa. The egg went, and it came back again. See what's going to do there? Can we get a rewind? Oh, you can actually start to reform. See how it starts to get harder? I just need to give it a second to fully form, right? A second to fully form. It's a real egg. Take the egg and just crack it. He's even cracking it. No way. Yes way. 
it's time for our teacher to let them all in on the yoke. I mean, joke. I bet you've never had a supply teacher like me, have you? No. No. Do you know why that is? I'm actually a magician. I knew it! And right now, all of you are being filmed on secret cameras there, and secret cameras there, and secret cameras there. <laughs> Fergus's brilliant disappearing trick has totally fooled the class. I just saw an egg disappear in just a tiny little jar. Just so weird. He put the egg and paper in a jar, gave them a little shake, and he made the egg mysteriously vanish. There was no egg hidden in the glove, so it was a real magic trick. He put the paper in another jar, gave it a little shake, and the egg reappeared. Unbelievable. I went shocked. I was like, that. Like what? Let's see that again. That was like that. Fergus pulled it off. The class had no idea he was a magician. We totally got them and they loved it. <laughs> see you later, but until then, if you're at school and you think something magical is occurring, maybe you'll find yourself shouting, Help! My supply teacher is magic! Yeah. Do, do, do.